everyone, this is Diane. Now, the last video I did was on the um, washi tape, trying to figure out a way to print on it. Um, the washi tapes are different. The blue one right here was really clear on the printing on the inkjet printer. And these three, it's really faded. Um, the typewriter wasn't really a fair test because it was an old um, ribbon in it and I used kind of a busy uh, washi tape so I think with a new ribbon and also you know maybe one of these a little plainer uh, it would have worked out better but anyway happy birthday to me I went ahead and ordered and I don't know how to pronounce this so forgive me if it's wrong it looks like it's Koharu and it's from Japan and it's called a masking tape printer which is like washi tape Anyway, so I went ahead and I ordered that, and I get this little box open. It comes actually with five rolls of tape, but since it's coming from Japan, and it only took 11 days to get here from Japan, and it um, was on Etsy. That's where I find it. But they had 100% feedback, so that was fine with me. So you get five rolls with it, and... I went ahead and ordered an extra four because of the shipping. I may as well pay it all at once. And because it says five assorted rolls, and if you don't mark down the ones you want, if he doesn't have everything in stock, they just sort of give you what they have, and I wanted specific ones. So I figured out of nine, they would probably have five. And they had all nine, so that really worked for me. And they come in this these little foil packages. They're like a little um, Ziploc. I'm going to take them out of them for storage purposes, but that's how they come. And then they also have in the package, you get this um, sheet of the design choices. And so you get kind of a variety of what you can choose from it. I don't think all of these were on the site when I ordered off Etsy. So they may do um, just get some in at different times. Or maybe they run out of one and it takes a while before they get some more. Anyway, this is the cutest box. This is embossed. And then when you open it up, this is where your little printer will be. But it's got like these little birds, and it's got the trees, and then all inside, around the edges of the box, there's trees. I just thought the box was fun, so I'm keeping the box. Okay, anyway, now the loading this is so easy. I opened this up, and it had the pictures. How to load it, which is simple. And then as I looked at this sheet, I thought everything on here was in Japanese. So I just put it to the side, didn't really pay any attention to it, got it loaded, and then realized that I needed some instructions. So I checked back. Okay, the it requires four AAA batteries, and it's as easy as it can be to load. There's no cogs or anything to click it in. It just sits there. And so you just roll it up and put it through this little slot right here and put your back on. Just one way. And you're ready to go. Now if you wanted to print something at the end of a long piece of washi, you can, I mean you can just pull this out as far as you want and then you could print right there. So it's up to you how long you want to print on your washi. Everything on the front is in English. There's no, there's Japanese in this little view window. If you want to print in Japanese, you can, but everything on the uh, little pad here is in English. So when I was trying to figure out how this worked, I went back to the directions, and then I realized that right before anything that's in Japanese, they'll have something in English. So when I was trying to figure out the fonts, I went to the page and... When you're looking at it inside the view window, it'll look like it's all Japanese, but the very first letter will be in English, and then the rest is Japanese. So there's an S, and an M, and an L, and a double L, and that's the size of your font. So if you follow these little directions, right before the Japanese, there will be like English, so you can figure it out. It's got over 200 icons. There's like little circles with uh, numbers in them, and apples with numbers and um, little paw print with numbers there's fruit there's holiday there's birthday there's 
just about everything you can think of. And so there's over 200 of these that you can print. And then the frames, which I did on this little sheet right here. There's 34 frames. So this one was with the script font and just a plain frame. This one was, I like this font, it's really cute. And that one is just hide and put anything else. This one has an actual tag as the frame with the little strings coming out and a little reinforcement. And then this one is like a B with like a little trail after the B and then I just put high. So it has all kinds of things you can you can print out, especially the, the tags. There's like a safety pin you can go inside and every kind of frame, some are polka dot, some are plain, some are speech bubbles. Just, there's just everything to pick from in here. So I decided to try to test this a little bit more. It was an epic fail. I did try to put a regular roll of washi tape in here. They're too big. It doesn't fit. And because these are wrapped around like that cardboard in the center, these are, they don't stick to themselves because they've got that plastic lining on the back. So these are smaller rolled because they aren't rolled onto another tube. So that didn't work. And then I tried on my P-Touch, I thought, oh, well, I've got the same strips on my P-Touch. So I thought if I print something on my P-Touch, I can just keep these and then put them on the back of my tape and run that through. But they weren't quite wide enough. So then I took a piece of my washi that comes with the machine and I rolled out a piece of just my regular washi, put it on top, ran it through, and it would not print on this. I tried it twice, so I don't know if it's just this particular one it wouldn't print on, or if it doesn't print on any other washi tapes, but that didn't work for me. I figured it's okay because I don't need printing on every time I use washi tape, so I've got enough of a variety with the nine that I'm happy with what I have when I need to print. So that is my opinion of the Kaharu masking tape printer. I love it. I've only had it a few days and I'm sure there's a lot of other things I could work on if I played with a little bit more, but so far that's what I found and I really like it. Thanks for watching. Bye.